When you're preparing an object to be 3D printed on a MakerBot, you'll have to look out for something we call overhangs. An overhang is a part of your model that hangs above the surface of the build plate with nothing underneath it to hold it up. If I was making a model of myself with my arm outstretched like this, this part of my arm would be considered an overhang. The success of an overhang depends on the material, the temperature, and the print quality that you're using, but generally speaking, if an overhang is angled at 45 degrees or steeper, the extruder should be able to shoulder each layer of material on the previous layer just enough so that the end result is smooth and accurate. Any overhang that's angled shallower than 45 degrees may result in some stringiness or unevenness that can usually be sanded off later. This massive overhang test by Thinkster is a great way to see the different results you will get when you try 3D printing objects with overhangs. It's designed to test angles 20 degrees through 70 degrees at 5 degree increments. As the angle gets shallower, the overhang becomes less smooth and more stepped. If you're doing your own 3D modeling, it may be helpful to consider overhangs while you're designing. If an angle can be changed by just a few degrees to avoid an overhang, it may be worthwhile to do so. This model of Sappho's head was originally shared on Thingiverse by Luke Chilson. The most difficult overhang on this model is here on Sappho's chin. When 3D printed in this original configuration, Sappho gets a bit of a scraggly beard. Snacks on Snacks did a remix of Sappho's head that split the model in two. Splitting a model in half and then printing it in two pieces and gluing it back together is a great technique for avoiding overhangs. Thingiverse user RichRap also did a remix of Sappho's head, which improved the chin overhang by just tilting the entire model back five degrees on its platform. Learning how to 3D print on a MakerBot is just like learning any new medium in that it helps to realize that there are limitations and learning how to work within those limitations can be one of the most creative and rewarding parts of the process. Another good thing to know is that when your 3D model has a horizontal line on top of two pillars, your MakerBot 3D printer will do what we call bridging. Bridging means spanning a gap quickly between two points so that the extruded material is strung in a straight line from one side to the other. No matter how small a bridge is, the underside of a bridge will always end up being a bit stringier than the rest of the model, but the following layers usually manage to make a quick recovery. Here's some examples of bridging tests that we do here in the office. As you can see, the longer the bridge, the stringier the underside. If you're making a model with lots of overhangs or large bridges, it may be useful to build your model using single material breakaway support. When you choose to add support to a model, your MakerBot will extrude a loose mesh-like material under any overhangs. The support is made of the same material that the rest of the model is made of, but because of its mesh-like nature, the support will be just strong enough to hold up the model's overhangs and just fragile enough to be pulled away from the model when the model is complete. Getting the support material to peel away from the model can be a bit tricky. We recommend using needle nose pliers and then twisting it off the model like this. Work slowly and be careful not to break any of the delicate parts of your model. We're currently working on a number of improvements to support that should make the removal process easier. Stay up to date with the new releases of MakerBot Makerware and your machine firmware so that you don't miss these updates. The last bit of vocabulary I have for you is rafting. A raft is a single layer of extruded filament placed in a thick grid-like pattern at the bottom of your model that can be peeled away when your model is complete. A raft is useful when you're having trouble getting your model to stick to the surface of your build plate, and you'll always want to use a raft when you're printing with support.